What is up guys, name is Ray and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Today we have the official information for part 2 of patch 1.5 and with that of course the official banner information for Euler and the weapon banner which we're gonna go over in today's video. Also definitely make sure to tune in on the 18th of May, I'm going to summon for Euler on that day with my friends on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Gaming. It will be 6pm Central European time. Should be around one hour before her banner goes live, so definitely make sure to tune in. And for those who can't make it, I will do a highlight video of those summons afterwards. So without further ado, let's hop into the actual video, into the news of patch 1.5 part 2. So, basically, Windtrace event is number one, which we already have in the game since the 14th of May. It will be live until the 24th, so about eight more days from the time the video is recorded. Um, definitely make sure to do it. You will get a lot of different cool rewards out of this event. The event is very fun. It is the kind of first PvP game mode. And yeah. Next one is Battlefront Mystic Dungeon event. So this will go live on the 21st of May. It will be during the time when you still can do Wind Trace event. So we will have both events live for three days. In this event, you're going to play with like specific trial characters. So I guess you're not playing with your own characters and you gotta do like some challenges with different themes. And yeah, you just gotta complete the trial quest and you will get even more Primer Gems, Hero Switch and Talent Level Up materials. So I think this event currently is doing really well with giving out resin restricted rewards uh, in terms of Mora and Hero Switch as well as Primer Gems, even if they're of course not resin restricted, but they are still needed of course to summon for the newest characters but yeah i think just in terms of the whole event of the rewards they are doing really good with the win trace event so i assume that the battlefront misty dungeon event will be also really good so so far all events in patch 1.5 were really good in part one and we're going into part two now of patch 1.5 and it seems also really good cannot really complain about that so this is eula's banner I think I have another picture over here, so this is how it should look like. It will be live on the 18th of May, 6 p.m. Central European time for me, so this will be also the time where I want to go live, so I think I'm going to wait um, for my friends until they join and then we're going to summon, but at 6 p.m. Central European time when the banner is live, I will also be live on Twitch to summon for that. With her, uh, Sincho, Baylor and Shinyan are coming with that banner um so i just want to add i'm not sure if i'm going to summon but some of my friends definitely are going to summon for eula so you will definitely see eula summons on that stream even though if i do not summon for her yeah um nothing too crazy here i would say then this is the weapon banner so it was yeah a little bit under here so the rough weapon banner is kind of different that is the banner I'm going to summon for first. So, my friends are going to summon for Eula first. And afterwards, maybe they're going to summon for the weapon banner. But this is the weapon banner that I was waiting for. Reasons why I want to summon on this weapon banner is Sacrificial Sword, Sacrificial Fragments, and Aquila Favonia. These are like the three weapons that I do really need. Of course, I would also take the new weapon, the Song of Broken Pines. So, there are four weapons that I do need in this banner. Uh, I especially really want Sacrificial Sword, Sacrificial Fragments. I do not own these weapons. And I really like to play uh, Sucrose. Or, and this is her best and slot weapon. And Sacrificial Sword is like a very necessary weapon in general for your 4 star one-handed sword users. Aquila Favonia. I just want a weapon because I want to test out. I'm currently running a physical gene. Not telling that physical gene is best in slot or something. But I'm really enjoying using her. And because there were rumors about her skin that totally changed my vision about everything, uh, how I see Jean. Jean was um, so far already one of my favorite characters. She was like not top, she was like top 5 already, even without the skin. And now with this skin, this is a huge game change for me because I said looks are everything in this game. I, I put looks over kits of characters and with that Aquila Favonia would be the perfect fit. And uh, I really want to have a kill of Avonia. So the decision I'm going to make is, if I'm going to summon and I will get Song bro uh, of Broken Pines, I'm going to summon for Euler. I'm at the soft pity, I'm guaranteed to get her. So I only need a maximum of five to six single summons to get her. That is the maximum that I do need. 
So if I get Song of Broken Pines, I will stop on the Wipe Banner. I'm going to summon for Euler. But perfect scenario for me would be a Cliff of Onia, Sacrificial Sword, Sacrificial Fragments in my summon session. Now, the question here is, should you summon for that weapon banner? I would say no. These are no, not any weapons that you do really, really need. So, this is just, this is just like my perfect weapon banner. But, I wouldn't recommend to use these physical weapons. So, especially Kilo Favonia. It is one of the strongest one-handed swords in the game. I would say Jade Cutter overall gets the edge because it is more usable on most of the characters. But the Kilo Favonia is like, only really optimal on physical ka uh, you can of course use it on physical gene as i'm doing it but it is not the optimal way same as like on ikea you can also use it on him you can still um like no i think th that's it you can use it actually on the traveler if you really want to but it doesn't really make sense to use it on the traveler so i think on the only characters besides ka that would make sense on or like physical gene and like a DPS KR that you can use on the Aquila Favonia where it would really make sense. And other than that, um, it would just be like a stat stick just because it has very high base attack and a good passive. You can use it on the other characters, but you cannot really make use of the physical stat. This one is kind of different. It could be really good on other characters, um, but of course I assume it will be best in slot for Eula because every time they put out a new raid up, um, raid up weapon it is the best in slot for the new raid up character so yeah as i said if i get song of broken pines i will summon for euler if i get a killer for vonia i'm going to skip euler but you will see euler summons through my friends last point here is arcan quest for euler it will also go live with her banner on the 18th of may 6 p.m central european time uh, you have to be adventuring 40 or above and of course i guess you will need some story keys to unlock that then the next event will go live on the 27th, it should be after the Battlefront, which goes until the 31st. So we have like 3-4 to four more days to do that and we get the event gameplay until the 6th of June. And until, uh, on the 6th of June we get another Hilly Chill quest. In that quest, most important thing I would say are the furnishing blueprints because they're all going to be limited. So I think they are locked behind this event. If the event is over, you have no chance to get these blueprints anymore. Other than that, Primal Gems, Heroes, Wits and Mora, the standard resin restricted rewards. Then we have a very interesting event. So this one is double talent drops on the 31st of May. So when you do a talent dungeon for about one week, I think, I don't know how often you can do it. Okay, let's maybe read through this. During the event, travelers who successfully challenge talent level up Material domains and who consume original resin to obtain rewards will receive double the output. So there, it seems that there is no restriction on that event. So I would say that every time you do a talent dungeon, the rewards are doubled. So let's say you drop like four of these silver books and the rewards are doubled, you will drop eight books. Uh, just for example. So actually it's like using... Uh, original resin for the coast of condensed no we're using condensed resin for the coast of original resin that's what i wanted to say yeah i would say that this event should work like that so it seems that there's no restriction of course we have to wait until the event is actually live so we can guarantee see if there is no restriction like the ley line event where we only could do that three times a day um not for each ley line for all the ley lines so I assume that it could be the same with that event. That we have a restriction of like five times a day, you will get double drops, but I'm not too sure. If we do not have a restriction, then that is really, really insane. Yeah, that's it for part two, guys. So, as I said, definitely, definitely make sure to tune in on the 18th of May. I would appreciate any viewer that comes by the uh, tunes in on the stream for my EULA summons. And if you can't do it, of course, I will do a highlight video and upload it on YouTube. And yeah, I see you guys on stream. I see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And I see you guys next time.